Oh my god. Oh my god. Dropped it twice. Whenever you're taking a washer off of a CV axle nut, check and see if it's conical. It'll be domed towards one side if it is. And you want that dome facing out so that way it puts pressure on the nut around the washer when you tighten it back down. That just helps keep the nut tight. So this one's flat, doesn't matter on this one, but check that out when you're taking stuff apart. Just gonna go ahead and run this down on low to seat it down. Then you can grab any kind of like pry bar or screwdriver that'll fit down in your rotor fins. This is an indexing pry bar that's tapered so it fits down in there really well. That's gonna lock the rotor and the hub in place so that way we can torque that axle nut down. Torque spec on this one is 180 foot pounds. Now this is super important that we torque this thing. I know a lot of guys just run it on with their gun and give it a few uggadugas, but this axle nut is actually what sandwiches the bearing down inside there. That's what keeps tension on the bearing and you don't wanna over tighten it because then you might end up burning that bearing up and you don't wanna leave it under tightened because then that bearing might loosen up over time so just torque your axle nut dude it's not that hard look just did it with my left hand not bad at all finish it off with a nice shiny new split pin somebody corrected me when i called this a cotter pin on one of my videos so sorry about that my bad bro split pin if you prefer precision split pin installation dude oh yeah all right, I'll do a little discount double check. Got it, got it. Torqued, torqued. Uh, torqued, torqued, torqued. Torqued on the other side. That's torqued, split pins in. This side's all finished up, dude. Link in bio, by the way, if you guys are interested in the Corian Cars Virtual Apprenticeship.